All right, we got our long john and our Celsius, and we're in the Z and ready to hit the road today, accomplishing a couple of big, I don't want to call them milestones, but a couple of things I've been trying to do for a long time. We're going to put some miles on the car today, probably over 200 miles, so come on, sister. And we're also going to finally get it up into the mountains, which I've been wanting to do for a long time, so we're going to see how she does. Let's, let's go. Where the hell am I going to put this at? Well, this is an area in North Carolina that has a lot of elevation change. Uh, th these are relatively steep climbs. I don't know the I don't know the grade, so don't ask me that, but compared to a road like Tail of the Dragon that's relatively flat and has just mild elevation changes, uh, it's a lot different driving. Um, you know, you're heading up the mountain in this direction, so uh, you're, you're pushing the car and just the incline slows the vehicle down into the corners. Uh, coming down, you're really on the brakes a lot just because you're carrying so much speed, but in a place like Tail of the Dragon, you just are just flying on those roads. So as much as I am sort of ready to kind of sell this car, I think I need to get to the Tail of the Dragon first.
something to be said about being super confident in your car. And I love that feeling now that I know I touched all of the nuts and bolts on this thing. Uh, you know, I made sure everything was set up and, and really that makes you feel good because you don't want to get, you don't want to get into a scenario like this where you start pushing your vehicle and shit starts falling apart, uh, you know, and cross my fingers. I still got a hundred miles to get home, but, um, it just, it makes the vehicle 10 times more enjoyable to drive when you feel confident and comfortable in it and you feel confident pushing it, knowing it's going to, handle it even when you get up close to its limitations and honestly we didn't even get close to the limitations of this vehicle like i said it we we chirped the tires just a couple of times and that was me sort of intentionally you know trying to kick the back end out but um i i just felt so comfortable in the vehicle i was finding myself being really able to uh, enter these corners with speeds even the really tight uh you know, the really tight switchbacks uh had a lot of confidence in the braking system the stainless steel braided brake lines the z1 two-piece rotors uh the stop tech uh, street performance pads and of course the brembos uh, it's a great combination on this car really good tires we can talk about tires later and and why i have the tires set up the way i do but you know braking hard into the corner late and then really accelerating hard out of it and you know the tires would chirp here and there, but for the most part, uh, if you're in the right gear and at the right RPM, uh, it just finds the grip and pushes you right out of the corner into the next straight. And, and uh, it makes the car a ton of fun to drive. so good today up here in the mountains of North Carolina. Wow. My only regret is that I didn't bring this car up here sooner. Well, actually, I can't say that because the upper control arms were trash, so it would have been a little bit risky, but this thing is a menace on these roads. This is its natural habitat. It is set up so good now. I, I can't speak to how it would handle in stock form, but set up with these modifications, this car is an animal on these roads. It is extremely nimble and tight in the corners. It is planted. You can carry speed into these corners like crazy and it just sticks. The Corbo seats and harnesses just hold me in so tightly and just make you feel so secure and so in control of the car that uh, it just really gives you confidence in, in tackling the corners. The one problem I see with that though is that it gives you a little bit too much confidence. So uh, you could be a, a driver with not much experience or in an area where you don't know the roads all that well and you're carrying a lot of speed because the car feels so planted and then all of a sudden you find yourself in a situation that uh, you weren't anticipating or you weren't prepared for. Uh, so I could see that being a little bit dangerous. It's like, uh, it's like people driving a Corvette. The car is so good that they think they're a good driver and then all of a sudden the power and the torque catches up with you and it doesn't end well oftentimes it ends in a pole i think that's the other thing that makes this car so good for these types of roads uh, with a lot of really tight switchbacks is that it's not super powerful it doesn't have a ton of torque now don't get me wrong you can certainly get the tires to break loose but if you got a good set of tires and the road conditions are decent you're just going to hook and go so while i let the car cool down a little bit now and i think uh just based on the amount of traffic that is zipping by me here while i'm filming this little outro i i gotta go i think i went up the hill about four times up and down and uh, i got about one and a half decent passes just because the traffic started picking up quick and it gets really annoying so we're out of here Love how the car handled, love how it felt. I'm really excited about this thing right now. This car is so much fun to drive. Uh, I really hope it shows up on camera because you know, oftentimes film like this just really doesn't translate to video. And that's a shame. And that's a shame because this is a ton of fun. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for the continued support up to this point. Stick around, more stuff coming for the channel. I promise you. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm.